Good morning. Rise and shine. Uh, I'm doing today's energy reading. My name is Amy. Welcome to the Violet Realm. I'm one half of the Violet Realm. I'm the mom half. Hi. How are you? Nice to see you. I'm going to be doing some live shuffling, picking up on the energy of the day. Uh, this is a general reading. Take what resonates. Leave the rest behind. We do offer private readings. All that information and our social media is in the description box below. So, wow. Let me knock on these cards. All right, let's see what the overall energy is for the day. These are timeless readings. When you find this, it's meant for you for that day. All right. Go ahead and draw all the cards here. We're going to get another oracle card. I think we're going to contemplate an oracle cards for this day. Uh, that's what guidance is saying. So a lot of healing energy coming through. Collective has been through a lot. Trying to heal some deep wounds. These do not belong there. Okay. Let me try it again. Hmm. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot of worry from a lot of people about this tense situation that's going on in the world and as a reflection in your life, right? We're all in uh, places of really unknown territory. Let's get a Ganesh card. Let's see here. And I'm gonna get one more, and then maybe we'll flip these cards over. Oh, I'm gonna get a Kasha Tarot too. Oh, here we go. is a great deck. Uh, I get a lot of past life energy off this, past life uh, connections from this deck. There, they may be wanting to talk about some um, something going on from your past, past life, this lifetime um, that needs healing. I mean, that's what you may be working on. Let's see, we have here... Um, Water your garden, nourishment, body care, tenderness, and rest. So today would be a great day for you to rest. Uh, take it easy. Uh, don't get into too many complicated thought processes. It's a time to let that busy mind rest. And um, let's keep going on. Light being. Yeah. There's a lot of really healing energy coming through. You may resonate as a light worker or a star seed. Generosity. That's a beautiful card. Uh, Pleiades, uh, double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. Um, sorry, I have my throat's bothering me, so I I have a cough drop in my mouth. We have two of forces, the willow. All right, so <clears throat> I am picking up on some past life energy here. So this this reading won't be every for everyone, but there's definite healing coming through. This is a healing day. The energy of the day feels very healing, but that healing has to do with an internal structure. Uh, Spirit has really been bringing up ideas and thoughts about um, self-doubt, about not being good enough, about not being smart enough or pretty enough or whatever labels you want to put on it. Maybe someone um, in your lifetime that now has made you uh, really look at these uh, feelings you have within about not being good enough. And uh, and it, it's painful as we really go into our wounds and understand where they come from. Many are rooted in this lifetime as well as past lives. And uh, it's imperative that this self-doubt is healed. Um, and the light beings card brings to mind that there are there are many ascended masters, angelic frequencies, God forms, whatever you resonate with around you who are working through you and with you to heal you because your life has a bigger mission than just, not that healing yourself is not a big deal. It's a huge deal. But as you heal self, you heal others. And that healing energy is shared with the planet and shared with Gaia. Gaia is healing and purging right now. And a lot of us are feeling that in our vessels. 
So be generous with your spirit. Be generous with um, the, uh, the light within. Be compassionate. But there is a call here today to really be compassionate to self. Uh, to really um, not be afraid to say no to things that you know will energetically drain you today. And um, to call for guidance call for that inner knowing, call for that God consciousness within to help guide you on how best to care for yourself and um, understand that what you do for yourself, you're doing for others. As we heal self, we heal others. As we heal ourselves, we heal our children. It's a really beautiful energy. And this willow here, um, I'm noticing the light emanating from it. And the tree, it feels like this is you. And there is light emanating from you as you move through this very painful wound and realize the truth of you and um, the flaws within our society as far as how we, um, we judge others and judge ourselves. And you release that, you will begin to feel very alive, very connected to the planet and to other people. You will experience a form of unity consciousness as the doubt that were placed in your your mind, your, the programming, it's programming is what it is. Spirit's coming through with that, it's programming. A lot of us are breaking our programming and we're, decided, we're deciding to leave out the outdated um, face belief systems about ourselves and programming behind. A lot of this is about healing your inner child. All right, guys, that's the energy I got for today. I hope this resonated. If it did or it didn't, leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I would love to hear from you guys. And I enjoyed reading for you. I hope you have a beautiful day, and I'll see you next time.